Okay, so walk around this uh, F registration. It's either 1988 or 89. Um, Land Rover 90, genuine county station wagon, built like this. Um, finished in red and in six seater spec. Uh, spec wise, it's got a matching set of um, four, uh, same four tyres on uh, modular, white, that's not modular, um, white eight spoke rims. Um, it's got front A bar with extra lights. I haven't checked those to see if the extra lights work in furnace. Front light guards, checker plate on the um, bonnet top, wing tops, modesty covers and rear quarters. Uh, it's got snorkel, it's got sunroof, it's got the proper um, county interior with cubby box in the middle and um, cloth seats. Four individual seats in the back, I think with seat belts. Uh, rear step. That's about your lot. Right, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. It's actually um, not bad at all, really, for its age and, uh, and the life it will have led. But uh, just looking around the front end, the offside front wing has been repainted. It's a very slightly darker red. You can see where the, uh, um, the paint has been, uh, re the paint mismatched just there. But the, it doesn't show, obviously, shall we say, but it is there, the right front offside front wing has been repainted at some point but a fair time ago in the past I think because there's quite a few sort of uh, chips and scratches and things on it um, especially around the front corner here two or three minor dinks just in the um, the front of the offside front arch just uh, offside front wing just there and a slight scuff down there as well a few areas of paint loss and stuff around the around the top on the wing tops and things like that um, bonnet there's a sort of a a large chip out the back of the bonnet just there um, and the grill uh, looks like it's been blue at some point I don't really know why perhaps it's come off another vehicle um, but uh, looks the grill looks a bit untidy perhaps could do with replacement or, uh, or repainting in, in black again um, but it's not uh, not too difficult a task near side front corner the near side front wing actually looks pretty good it's got a slight sort of uh, bit of paint loss and a very slight dink just down there on the front of the near side front wing which has just gone into the arch a bit and scuffed the, um, the side of the arch very slightly. Slightly dented just up here but very very only very very slightly and a bit of paint loss up there as well. Uh, a few chips on it here and there but nothing really to worry about. Um, scuttle corners, the near side one actually looks really nice and solid and sound. There's a very very, I mean, and I mean very like pinhead size hole just there. Um, which uh, perhaps, could do with, uh, perhaps could do with sealing up, but uh, it is the size of a pin, but the rest of it is all very solid and correct. And um, Okay, it's lost a bit of paint on there, but actually seems to be quite um, solid and nice, and it's all good above the, um, above the flaps and everything on both sides. That's all good. <coughs> A-post has got, uh, on both sides in fact, down below the bottom hinge, the A-post has got uh, a rubber bung in it on, on both sides, which is uh, to seal it up. Um, near side door there is a bit of electrolytic reaction down on the bottom edge along there and there's a, a scuff in the paint a very very faint dent just behind the uh, the near side door just there and that's just polish um, slight dent in the barrel side along there but uh, it is a Land Rover after all inside all of the um, the county trim apart from the carpet in the back uh, it's still there. In fact, there is, there's no carpet in the passenger footwell as well. Uh, that's just a, a cut mat that's been put in there. But um, it's all quite straightforward. The headline is all in good shape. The rear seats are all there. Um, passenger seat has got a, a two-inch tear just in the seat base just along there, but uh, it's not really an issue. Driver's seat is all very good. Um, as I say, cubby box is there. It's got a, a stereo um, radio and CD and everything with I think a Bluetooth capability but I haven't tested that. Um, near side door actually feels it's starting to go a bit at the back towards the back edge of the, um, the frame but the front certainly the front half of it actually all feels still pretty solid and nice and good which is the bit that you need um, and up the sides here is all good it's really just starting to sort of uh, go a little bit at the back edge but uh, years of life left in that yet and there's no movement at all in the hinges it's all pretty good. Um, near side rear wing is okay there's no problems there at all there's some sort of uh, general starring in the paint on the um, on the wheel arch uh, lip that's that's normal because they're plastic a uh, little bit of um, electrolytic reaction up here just underneath the uh, the opening rear window just along there 
but that's about it. Um, very, very slight dent in the um, galvanising trim on the near side rear corner. Just sort of pushed in very slightly there on both, uh, both sides of the corner. Um, cross member all looks pretty sturdy. Uh, tailgate, there's the usual electrolytic reaction up here and down here. It's uh, again very normal. In the back here, um, the vinyl on a couple of the rear seats is, is torn up the edge there, but uh, um, it's not really too much of a problem. Um, in fact, they're very slightly mismatched. That one's grey rather than uh, rather than tan, but uh, struggle to notice it in fairness. Um, and all the trims all, all there in the back, apart from, say, the carpet has been replaced with a rubber mat. Um, rear door card is slightly worn, uh, but the tailgate itself actually feels pretty solid and there's no movement at all in the hinges again it's all good um, some paint loss and it's like hole actually just there just beside the uh, I don't know what's that that's for if that's a, some extra wiring or something or an extra light was fitted uh, just around the rear fog lamp but a small hole and some paint loss around the um, around the rear fog lamp there looking down the offside it all looks fairly straight and clean and correct there the only thing I can criticize it on as usual on these, the um, the offside tub top trim has uh, there is a hole in the in the trim just there, um, and it's starting to go a bit into the usual place in the join just there as well. But uh, that is only cosmetic; it's not uh, structural. There's a bit of electrolytic reaction again underneath the window, but offside rear wing, apart from that, apart from a few chips around the um, uh, the diesel filler, actually looks uh, pretty uh, pretty good. Offside door. Apart from one or two sort of minor dinks and donks in it here and there and paint chips and stuff actually looks all uh, pretty sturdy that's all fine we'll come back to the interior of that in a minute again there's a, a rubber bung below the um below the offside uh, lower hinge in the a post but uh, it all looks pretty regular um and the scuttle corner up here actually looks uh, fairly solid should we say i think it might have had a bit of paint down there at some point but actually looks all into me in uh, good shape just some paint loss on usual paint loss on the hinge um, inside on the driver's side driver's seats all in very very good shape actually uh, and the dash is all there and all in one piece no movement in the hinges on the driver's side and the um, frame actually feels pretty good yeah that's not bad at all actually that frame starting to bubble up slightly but no more than that that's about it really it's uh, it's not a bad one this actually and it is a genuine county as i say my name's simon you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info we take part exchanges we take visa and mastercard debit cards and credit cards with a two percent surcharge for credit cards and we can uh, ship it anywhere you like in the world that's about it. End.